Hello, this is Paul Matthews. I'm the CEO of Netram, and we are a tier one partner of Twilio. To find out more about us, you can search for Twilio Netram, and this will show you our listing within Twilio. You can read more about us and our expertise within the Twilio webpage itself. This tutorial is about call forwarding. Call forwarding is a good way for you to maintain anonymous numbers or for you to provide different numbers to different customers. So when your customers call the Twilio number, the call gets forwarded to your real number. It is also useful if you want to list something online, let's say in Facebook or eBay or Craigslist. You can create an anonymous number within Twilio and have those calls forwarded to your real number without them actually knowing your number. So let's get started. The prerequisite of this is the two first tutorial, which is the Hello World, which includes uh, the setup of the environment. Here we will talk about how to forward a call from Twilio number to your own number, how to record the call, and how to play back the recording, and how to trace these calls within the Twilio logs. Uh, so let's get started. The first step is to make sure that exam is running. Uh, so click on the uh, Windows icon and then scroll down uh, until you get to exam and start the exam control panel. Uh, so we see that the exam control panel is not running. So let's go ahead and start. Since we're not going to use any database, we don't need MySQL. We just need the web server Apache. So we're going to start here. We've started it. The next step is to start ngroc. Uh, so to do that, we're going to do Windows R, get into CMD, and then we'll go to software, which is the folder where I have installed ngroc. Your folder could be different. ngroc, HTTP, port 80. So we have started ngroc now, and now we should see the URL shortly. Next, let's create the XML file for forwarding the call. Uh, and then let's look at the Twilio tutorial on dial as well. So Twilio dial. Um, so here is Twilio dial. So it's actually quite simple. This is the XML file that dials the call. We're going to copy this one. And then we'll paste it within Notepad. There we go. Instead of dialing this number, we're going to dial the phone number of the local Costco, which is 408-730-1892. We will save this file as forward within tutorial file. Save this file. And now it's time to Play this file locally using ngroc. So we'll copy this URL, which is the ngroc URL. Copy that into the web browser, followed by tutorial slash tutorial five slash forward dot xml so there we go we can now copy this into twilio so we're going to select the phone number option this is our number i'm going to scroll down and 
update the webhook. We are done. Let's make the call. Calling the Sunnyvale Costco. The warehouse is now closed. The warehouse is open for all members Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. To reach the administrative staff, press 1. For warehouse hours, directions, and holidays observed, press 2. For information on membership or returns, press 3. To reach the pharmacy, press 4. For all other departments, press 5. To reach the administrative staff, press 1. For warehouse hours... There we go. We just called this number and that got forwarded to Sunnyvale Costco. Let's look at the, let's look and see how can we record this call. So to record this call, let's go to Twilio dial. So dial does have a record option. So this is the record option. And so there are uh, various values. We're going to be using the record from answer option. So let's edit the file and add it. Also, you need to be careful when you are recording the call. You should, uh, in most states, it is uh, illegal to record a call without informing. So uh, first, let's... Uh, Let's call say to make sure that the caller is aware that this call is recorded. Thank you for calling. This call is being recorded. We'll add one more statement and then say for call now and we saw the record option within dial so we are going to add that record equals so the option was record from answer there we go record from answer we'll save this file and now we will attempt to call being recorded. Forwarding your call now. Thank you for calling the Sunnyvale Costco. The warehouse is now closed. The warehouse is open for all members Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 30 p.m. This is a test. Saturday and this is Sunday a test. From 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. To re so we just made the call and uh, we played the little warning saying that the call was being recorded and then we forwarded the call over to Costco. Let's now take a look at the laws on what we can find about this call. So to collect the logs, go to programmable voice, click on the little phone icon, and then click on calls. And these are the two calls here. This is the incoming call that I made from my phone number to the Twilio number. That resulted in an outbound call, which we can see here, which is uh, calling uh, from Twilio, uh, but it shows my number as the caller ID to the Costco number. We can click on the incoming call, which is this call, and that will show us the logs. Uh, here are the logs. Uh, this is the response from NGROC. And now we can also see the recording. This, there's a media, and here's a recording SID, and here is the recording. We can actually play this recording now. 
let's do that. So this actually played on my headset. Let's see if we can play this uh, so that you can hear it. So you may not have heard it before. Let's see if you can play it. Um, I don't know if that was audible uh, to you, uh, but in any case, when you run this tutorial, you should be able to uh, listen to this recording. Uh, so let's go back and review. We forwarded the call from a Twilio number to your own number. We recorded the call. We also played back the recording and we traced the calls within the Twilio logs. Thank you.